Hey guys, just in the car on the way to Choppy Out on the North York Moors. We're going for a 16 mile long run today, very hilly, gorgeous views, and I thought I'd use it as an opportunity to create a vloggy style video that updates you on where I'm at, what happened post Three Peaks, and what you can expect from me in the future. We all know the race itself went very poorly, uh, but in reality, this has been coming for a very long time and I needed to take a break from vlogging, running, everything, to try and straighten my head out and work out what I'm gonna do going forward. And it's actually no coincidence that we've come to Chopiat because what I want to do in the future ties into the North York Moors and this location specifically uh, quite a bit. But we'll explain more on that as the run goes on. Let me begin by explaining what happened in the Yorkshire Three Peaks. I kind of touched on the fact that my head wasn't really in the race and that I'd been struggling mentally with uh, pushing myself in races and getting geared up for them. This has been going on for a good couple of years. It isn't just the Yorkshire Three Peaks uh, that was affected and I've been battling it uh, for quite a while. It seeped its way into my training to the point that I wasn't enjoying sessions. I was waking up in the morning, dreading after work, going for a run, um, feeling like I had no time for myself. I couldn't go and do other things that I wanted to do, like play five-a-side football, something I did as a kid, really enjoyed doing that. I felt like the structured training I was needing to do to race the way I wanted to was preventing me actually enjoying life, which is mental, because at the end of the day, that's why we run. So I took the really tough decision after the race to cancel my coaching with Jason. He's given me so much on a personal level, not just with the running over the years. It's a real tough decision to make, but I think necessary because the discipline seemed to be the issue. So I need to take away the plan, take away all the structure behind it and just try and press the reset button. And talking of pressing buttons, I had to stop recording because I bumped into John and Shirley uh, who run the Hardmores races. Real coincidence because we started talking about the pressure of racing and the pressure of expectation and growth and getting better. Um, and yeah, it was just really nice to talk that out with someone and quite a coincidence that it happened on the day that I decided to record this video as well. Anyway, back on track. So the good news is Literally a week after making the decision to cancel my coaching, stop running, I laced up again for the right reason, because I wanted to, with no plan. And then week on week, my mileage went up to the point where now two months later, we're doing 40 mile weeks again. I'm feeling really good. Um, but the important thing is I'm running because I want to run. I don't know where this will lead to, uh, but to be honest, I'm not bothered. And that in itself is really liberating and something I've not had for quite some time now. Right, we've blathered on quite enough, so let's get this run started and get you guys some views. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up on night, throwing drinks by Blue eyes, smiling while you're cursing I admit it's working You're working Don't care, you're crazy That's where we're going. perfect Shaky and I'm slurring Cause I'm nervous So today's run should be about 16, 16 and a half miles uh, it's actually the Wayne Stones half marathon route from the Hardmore series. Probably about three and a half thousand foot of elevation, I would have thought. And it's all in preparation to the OMU marathon in Romania. I mentioned it before, I am still going to go and do the race, I think. But more to share it with you guys than to actually race it. The reason we're still practicing for those big climbs and the efforts is I want to try and nail down my nutrition because that's something that's been holding me back over the years. Now I tried Tailwind not that long ago in the Wayne Stones Marathon and it was a disaster. What I didn't do though, I didn't mix it with other nutrition, which was actually the race plan. I just had Tailwind on its own, got dehydrated because I couldn't keep control over how much hydration I was actually getting because my fuel was part of my water. So today, We've got one half litre flask 
of tailwind that's got about 50 carbs in it 50 grams of carbs and we've got the other half with plain water um, the idea being I will have half of the tailwind in the first hour and I will have one gel and that should give me about 45 grams of carbs which for a training run is more than enough I just want to see how my stomach will handle that combination and if I have similar issues with getting dehydrated like I did in the Wayne Stones race. Now for you diehard fans that have followed me from the beginning you might remember uh, that I actually tried tailwind in training and everything seemed okay it was once it came to the effort on race day that I came unstuck. So today we're going to try doing the climbs at moderate effort the rest are easy save the legs just put that little bit of effort in there to try and replicate what I might get going up some of the climbs uh, when we go abroad. One of my favourite parts of the race, you've just done the climb out of Chopiat, which is one of the biggest climbs on the North York Road, and then you get to let loose all the way back down to the bottom on the other side of the valley. It's mint. We're getting to the bottom of uh, the first major descent now. Much more runnable down here and uh, perfect timing to get my first gel in. So the idea is have one on the half hour of every hour That'll give me 20 grams of carbs, plus the half of the 50 that's in the tailwind, 45, it all adds up. I find these are quite light on my stomach, I seem to get them down quite easy. So I'd like to see if we can actually use these in a race. Mmm, apple -y. We're actually now on uh, what forms part of the Lake Wake uh, Challenge route. It's 40 miles, 42 miles, and it's a ceremonial crossing of the North York Moors. The most direct route from a village called Osmoverley all the way uh, to the coast at Ravenscar, and it crosses some of the most remote moorland in the entire country. Since I started running longer distance, I've always been pretty obsessed with the idea of one day doing a completely unsupported point-to-point -point run on my own over a silly distance. I think the Like Wake route could be the one that I do. And with where my head's at right now with racing, I think now is probably the time to start thinking about it. I'd like to bring it to you guys as a bit of a documentary. So a 40 mile crossing of the moor, some of the most remote that we'll probably find around here. Of course, water's gonna be an issue if I'm not supported. I'm gonna have to take enough with me, uh, see if I can find places where I can fill up um, along the way. But I do just like the idea of the challenge and not to do it to go breaking times and trying to beat myself up like I usually do when it comes to racing, but just to enjoy the journey itself. So yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if it'll definitely come off or not, but it's definitely one of the things that's in the mix at the moment. These skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay. I don't think you can see that. Oh god, there was no other way. Did you wait? Let's get cracking. I've been counting the days, and I'm calling home to say, I'm coming home to you. Now, uh, 
This is one of the areas I was saying we might be able to fill up with water during the like away crew. There's a cafe there, so if I can make sure I do it on a day where the cafe is open, there's toilets there as well. This is probably uh, only around mile 10 or 12, but it could help me not have to carry quite as much gear in my pack, which will make it a more enjoyable experience. Through here actually also doubles up as part of the Hard Malls 55. Uh, which again is a race I've always had earmarked that I wanted to do. I would never attempt that solo on my own. I'd want to do that in a race environment where we have got checkpoints to fill up on. So I definitely want to make sure my nutrition's down before I attempted that one. And that again, my head's in the right place and I'm actually doing it for the right reasons and able to cope with the training and not feel like I'm missing out on everything else. But it's such a stunning route. As you can tell, just climb after climb after climb. I'm coming home. Probably one of the best views in Yorkshire. Stay up till morning and head out exploring. Make up for months that we've missed. Cause the cold air is calling and my head's recording I've had to be sat down there unfortunately I was convinced We'll stay out till morning and head out exploring Make up for months that we've missed Cause your lips are calling and my heart's recalling The way I could never resist <laughs> Even now it still surprises me uh, what sort of following the channels managed to gather over the last year or two. Just had someone run past me uh, saying hello, shouting my name, seeing how I'm doing. It's really nice that the running community and especially the community we've got on the channel are just so lovely and supportive all the time. And talking of content, uh, some hopefully good news. I'm expecting to receive a few pairs of new shoes over the coming week. So they should be getting reviewed on the channel at some point. And let's just say I'm very excited about them <laughs> and it's something I've been waiting ages for. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time. It's like a labyrinth here. No matter what way you go, there's something to climb up. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. and this is the sort of thing I can expect on the Lykewake route. Just open moorland, completely out there, not a soul in sight. Yeah, this is my sort of running for sure. How it goes and I save the details that actually mean something. So this is the ah, final descent. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Let's have a quick chat about the nutrition. How did I feel it went? Well, the tailwind certainly gave me energy. I feel full of that right now. But around the two hour mark, I started getting really thirsty and uh, my stomach was craving something solid. So that's something I'm gonna have to think about and allow for when it comes to racing and doing longer stuff. But on the whole, I think it's a positive because at least I'm not feeling sickly with it and uh, feeling like I can't take any more on. Anyway, the GoPro's already died four times since I've tried to record this. So I'll see you all back at the car and we'll wrap this video up from there.
There we go guys, run done. 16 and a half miles across the moors and it was actually really hot today. Not as hot as yesterday, but I could have done with much more water than I actually took. As for what you guys can expect from me and the channel going forwards, I'm going to come straight out with it. I'm not going to be doing weekly vlogs like I was before. Um, while I loved creating the content, the creativity side of it, connecting with you guys, I just found it took up way too much time. Equally, the training I was doing for the races was taking up way too much time. It's not until I stopped doing that, I've realized what I've managed to gain back in my day-to-day -day life, spending more time with my family, my wife, getting a bit more football in, things that I used to really enjoy, trying not to take life so bloody seriously. Because when something is so centered around one activity, I'm not sure that's a real healthy place to be, especially when it's not going very well. So I don't want to fall back into that trap. But that does mean that any videos I do bring out to you are going to be purposeful. So if we do get this gear I'm hoping for in the next week, I'll be doing some decent reviews for you um, and I'll take my time over doing them. Equally, the race in Romania that's in September, that will be a nice long race day documentary and there'll be some stunning views out there. So I think that'll be a really good watch as well. Likewise, if I ever do this um, 40 mile point to point unsupported run that will make a really good watch um, yeah basically the content I do bring out is going to be very purposeful and around a specific subject right we're going to wrap it all up there guys uh, if you want to reach out or chat to me at all love talking to you guys hit me down in the comments it's been a long time or hit me up on Instagram subscribe like all that jazz and I'll catch you with the next one thanks for watching guys